what are the best servers for playing Escape from Tarkov and how to find it. In this video I'm going to show you my servers, my settings and everything you need to know to find your sweet spot. Dear comrades, Ivan as a German is back for you guys out there. Let's start immediately with my video about my servers. As I promised to you, I will show you how you can find your favorite server. And the answer for that question is quite simple. My servers are changing all the time, but don't be disappointed, guys. As always, I want to have that you have a good time. Grab any drink you like, beer, something else, and enjoy the video. So, as you can see, I'm right now playing on a Dallas server. I'm trying Dallas for a couple of times now, and I'm very happy with Dallas. And the reason why I'm playing right now on Dallas, it's quite simple, because right now in Dallas, it's four o'clock in the morning. In Germany, it's 11 p.m. And that means, and that's my first tip for you guys, choose a server which has a night time in its region. For example, Dallas, it's right in the morning. But, and you also have to consider that you have to have a little bit longer matching times. For Dallas, it's quite okay. And a lot of German players or a lot of European players are joining the East Coast, which mean um, Washington and all of that. So that's why sometimes it can be a little bit trickier to join an NA server. Why am I playing on NA server? Because the auto EU server experience is horrible. Right now, in my opinion, and I talk with a lot of streamers and guys from the community, a lot of guys farming billions and billions of rubles and they told me it's on average one cheater per raid on interchange. Interchange right now is horrible and I tried it out the past days. I burned millions of millions of rules for you guys out there and it's not like using some PvP fights, it's like looting everything, hiding in a corner, check your max and getting shots through the wall into your head and you're dead. And that's not uncommon, so that's why I try to figure out on which servers do you can play during which time. So, and right now, Dallas is a very good, very good um, decision, as well as Washington. Washington was my go-to server for playing Tarkov without having this high population of cheaters. If you don't want to play on NA servers because your ping is too high, you can do the same with EU servers. For example, um, I had a very good experience with uh, Sweden, Finland and Italy. But it also really depends when do you play this service. Because if you play on European servers, you can get players from AutoU. That's a really important thing. Another very good tip is play on the Russian servers. For example, Moscow has a really low average matching time. You have a big population of the player base. And on Moscow, my experience was that I didn't have that many cheaters. So Moscow and Washington um, are my go-to servers if I have a good day. Not many cheaters and all of that. And for maps which aren't interchange and labs, you can go on Washington or Moscow all the time. But I would try to avoid auto EU. I don't care about the ping, that's not the thing, but on EU servers it's really really horrible. That's why I try to play in the Russian server, especially Moscow. Moscow has a good ping, high population. If I'm looking for PvP for some videos and all of that, Washington and Moscow are my go-to servers. If you're looking for some little bit less population servers, I wouldn't go with the highest match matching time servers because a lot of players are thinking the same. Okay, I will choose the highest matching time server, so I will jump on that. We played on, for example, right now Ekaterinburg has a very high matching time, but Ekaterinburg was, was a good choice. We tried on Krasna and on Vladivostok. Vladivostok sometimes has a very high ping, that's why we are dodging it. And Novo and Krasna are all ways to go on the Russian side besides of Moscow. So it's it really depends on a little bit of luck, of course, of the day, how many cheaters are on the way and all of that. Right now I'm trying to play on Dallas. Dallas, Chicago are always a good choice. Um, New York, um, um, New York is a little bit risky because you have this low ping. Uh, and as you can see, it jumps around, but New York usually has a low ping for EU players. So that's why I try to avoid it. Like find a server in, in, in the middle and in on, on average to, to avoid um, to get every player which are looking for a low ping from the from the 
EU, as you can see right now, 99 ping or New York. That's why I am trying to play with Dallas. High ping right now, but it jumps around. Dallas is my go-to right now. I'm checking it out. Another very good tip for you, you should check that out, is if you go to your settings. And as you can see, you can exit the launcher. And exit the launcher completely is very important because if you start Tarkov, your launcher will close completely as, as it says. So what you can do is if you are in a matching queue and it takes very, very long, you can start your launcher and you can change the server to, to you can add additional server or you can change to another one. And if you are in your matching queue, you can change your server and you can jump on another server if your matching queue is too long. And on top of that, if your Tarkov crashed, you can immediately start your launcher and restart the game. So that's basically it about that. I hope I could give you um, some good tips about servers right now. It's as I said on interchange, it's horrible. It's really, really horrible. Um, I will make a separate video. I burned millions for you guys to test it out. I would avoid interchange almost completely if you don't have a good server. Interchange is really horrible. And guys, please let me know into the comments below what's your current experience in Tarkov with Cheetahs and all of that. Or are the gamers are just better with a better RGB gaming chair? As I said, write in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like this video. It really helps to support this channel and we Germans want to win at least something. Don't forget to like this video and stay safe as always. See you in the next one.